All right, YouTube, so we are back, of course, to talk about some video games. Well, I guess not in this case. We're actually talking about a television series. So today we randomly got an update for the Fallout TV series that's coming to Amazon that I kind of had forgotten about. Like, I did a video about it back in 2020, July 2020 to be exact, so it's been about a year and a half or so. And as far as I'm aware, this is the first update we've had for the TV show since the kind of initial tease and reveal. If there's been other news out there, it hasn't been really that big, hasn't really made the rounds too much. However, what we got today I think is actually a pretty big deal because we finally have a cast member, like an actor that's going to be on the show. As far as I'm aware, this is the only cast member that has been revealed. Maybe there's others out there I'm not entirely sure. But it's Walton Goggins, which is an actor that I actually really like. I, I haven't seen him in a lot of stuff. He's one of those actors that's in a lot of different stuff. He's in a lot of different movies and TV shows, but he's almost never really like the lead guy. I know he had a show recently, like The Unicorn or some shit, where I think he was the lead guy, but I've not watched it because that looked fucking stupid. But the guy's in a lot of stuff, and I usually enjoy him as an actor, so, and it's a name I recognize, which is good for the TV show. I don't think they necessarily need to cast a bunch of people that we know as actors. I don't mind getting some new actors and actresses or whatever. But I also do like to see names that I recognize so that I kind of know what I'm getting into. I kind of know the actor, kind of what they're capable of and stuff like that. The other bit of news here, besides just the casting choice itself, is that according to Deadline, which is kind of where this story broke from, he might be playing a ghoul. But he's also supposed to be within a lead role, so I don't know if that means like the main character of the show or just one of the main characters within a group. But we're going to have an important ghoul within the TV show, which is kind of interesting. And as for who he could be, like the first thing that comes to mind, if we're talking like an important ghoul within the Fallout video game series, the first one that comes to mind for me is Harold, because Harold's been in... Fallout 1, 2, and 3, and he's also in, like, Brotherhood of Steel, and he's supposed to be in the canceled Van Buren, and, like, the canceled, like, Brotherhood of Steel 2, and I think he maybe even comes up a little bit within tactics. Like, that character's been through most of the Fallout games. So whenever I hear that somebody's cast as a lead role within the Fallout television series, and they're playing a ghoul character, he's the first one that comes to mind. There's obviously other important ghouls throughout the history of Fallout, but that's just the first one I think of. What I'm not sure of with the show is if we know anything yet, so it's kind of hard to speculate because I don't think we know, like, a location, which will be pretty interesting. Hopefully it's in a new location, regardless of who the characters are. Hopefully it's in something that's not one of the locations in the games, right? Like, give us something new. And with the TV show being that it's going to have, you know, multiple seasons, I'm assuming, and it's going to be episodic, like, let's go, let's travel the world. Let's see the rest of the world within Fallout. The U.S. is cool. We've been there for the whole series now. Let's try something new. And just do my bold prediction here, I wouldn't be surprised if the TV show opens up with something like Fallout 4, where it's pre-war, like you've seen everybody normal, like we're seeing regular looking Walton Goggins, and maybe they go through like the first episode kind of establishing the world of Fallout, kind of, so that people who maybe aren't super familiar with the lore of the games can kind of understand what's going on, and then probably at the end of the episode would be like the end of like the beginning of Fallout 4 where the bombs drop, like probably episode ends with the fucking sirens going off, right? Kind of predictable, I'm calling it now. But it's also possible that the show begins post-Great War, post-2077, the world's already fucked up and destroyed. Maybe Walton Goggins is already a ghoul, I don't know, maybe they're going to go that route potentially, I don't know. And actually look around on the internet just for the sake of this video, they did give us an update in January that the show is going to go into production sometime this year. So they're going to start recording this year, which means it's more than likely going to come out 2023. Still a little ways away, but kind of get an idea of when the show's coming out. What I do want from this, uh, just kind of before we close out the video... I do hope that Bethesda, with this television show, kind of goes back to the roots of Fallout. Let's go to the early days, let's go back to Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and then we can progress forward into, like, the Fallout 3, 4, 76, if you want to go there, New Vegas type stuff. I say Bethesda, but of course it's being made by, like, the people that made, like, Westworld and shit, but I'm sure Bethesda has some sort of hand in it. I just hope that they can kind of, I don't know, go back to what Fallout used to be. Fallout 1, 2, and 3, I think, are great games. Anyways, my dudes, that's going to be the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Social networks are in the link. Social networks are in the description below. Follow your boy on Twitter at DashingDavidYT. That's it. Bye. We fucked till it comes to conclusions. All the things that we thought we were losing. I'm a ghost and you know this. That's why we broke up in the first place. Cause I want you.